rubber ball shaped ends. You can tell my lip lines are nowhere near correct, like they're all wonky. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a little review and lip swatch video for y'all on the Sephora Wonderful Cushion Matte Lip Creams. So there are four different colors. I believe these are limited edition. So I have all four colors to show you. So I'm gonna run through kind of like the claims on what these are supposed to be and what they're supposed to do. Um, I will show you swatches on my hand as well as on my lips and just give you my overall review and thoughts on this product. So let's jump into it. Okay, so these are $8 each and you get 0 0.304 ounces or nine milliliters of product. Really, really cute outside packaging. Now, something I do want to note about these is they have these little like rubber ball shaped ends that are a little bit difficult to work with. So that is really the main negative that I have to say about these is that this is not practical, like for being able to get, you know, a good application of your lip product. So even if it were like slightly angled or more like the Melteds, I think that would be a lot better. Um, so I don't like that about these. So reading from the Sephora website, these are supposed to be a full coverage lip stain that comes with a cushion tip applicator to create bold pigmented looks and is made with shea butter for ultimate comfort. This new Shea Butter Enriched Formula comes with a flexible cushion applicator that enables you to create two ultra trendy looks. A gradient effect gives lips a just bitten look and a high coverage effect creates the look of fuller lips. The formula offers intense color and a powdery matte finish. So I guess these are supposed to be kind of like, you know, that like end tip that the um, Maybelline color blurs have where you can kind of do that sort of blurry sort of a look which I get that, but the shape of it being that weird ball shape just is a little bit difficult to use. So yeah, but anyway, those are the claims. Um, talks about like, you know, people's research that like their response is, oh, it's supposed to be easy to apply. It was delightful to apply. Um, it delivered a matte finish. It didn't accentuate imperfections. The coverage was even and consistent, smoothing texture, long lasting, uh, comfortable texture. So. Those are the claims about this product. So running through the different colors, this first one is 01 Wonderful Rosy. And this one, I think the name is slightly misleading. Um, well, maybe not, maybe that's kind of harsh, but I don't know, it's pretty bright, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I wasn't expecting it to be this bright and I was reading some of the reviews of other people and a lot of people were saying that, that they bought Wonderful Rosy thinking it would be kind of like a neutral color and it's definitely more of like kind of a bright Barbie pink, like not super, super bright Barbie pink, but it's definitely got a brightness to it more so than like a neutral pink. You know what I mean? But it still is really pretty. I do love this color. I think it's a really fun one for summer and just warm weather. It just looks like a fun, sweet pink. But if you're going for something like very neutral and kind of subdued, you may be a little bit disappointed in this one. Next is number 03, Wonderful Magenta. And you wanna talk about a bright color, this one's your bright color. You have to like fuchsia statement lips to like this one, and I definitely do. I think this one is a lot of fun. I think it's beautiful. It just is a really, really bright, beautiful fuchsia pink. And it's got like I don't know, it's got a little bit of like, sort of a purpley tone to it. You know what I mean? More purple than red, I would say. Just really, really beautiful. I love this one, but again, you have to be looking for that bright statement lip to like this one. Then we have number five, Wonderful Red, and this is just a beautiful statement bright red lip. I mean, it is gorgeous. It's got like that, I don't know, like strawberry, raspberry sort of a tone to it. I mean, it's just one of those sort of a lip colors that you can just, you know, throw a crease color on your eyes, put a little bit of, you know, wing liner on and this lip and you are good to go. You have a whole makeup look. It's just really, really pretty. And then lastly, we have number six, Wonderful Purple. And I kind of have like mixed emotions about this one. Um, I love the tone of it. I think it's really pretty, but it's hard to get it even. Like it just, you can even see it in the swatch. It's 
it's patchy, but once you get it evened out, it's really, really beautiful. But being that dark color, like it just drives me crazy. Like I can tell my lip lines are nowhere near correct. Like they're all wonky and that's driving me crazy. So for a dark color like this, oh my goodness, really any of these, I mean, I would like precise application with them. But even if you're going to do like the blurred lip look, I just don't know like how to make that really work with a dark color like this. But it is a really pretty color. Like once you get it on and even, it is really pretty. It's just, it's a little bit frustrating. As far as formula goes on these, they remind me a lot of the Too Faced Melteds. So I actually went and grabbed some of my Melteds to kind of compare some of the colors. And y'all, we have some pretty much like almost dead on dupes here. So this one down here is Melted Peony, a lot like Wonderful Rosie. So there's that. Next is Melted Fuchsia, a lot like Wonderful Magenta. And then last is Melted Strawberry, which is not quite as close to this one. This one's a little bit more like bright and um, this one just has more of like a depth to it, but it's pretty close. So if you want some like color dupes, those are really stinking close. So $8 versus I think 21 for these, which I do love these, but you know, $8, that's a much better price. And the packaging on this is really, really cute. I just... I love the packaging. So formula wise, these really do remind me of the Melteds in that when you first apply them, they really do look kind of like glossy and the thicker that you apply them, the longer they're kind of gonna keep that like glossy look to them because they're going to eventually set down to that kind of like powder matte sort of a finish, which these do that too, but it just kind of depends. Like if you just apply a thin layer, they're gonna dry down pretty quickly, but if you apply a thicker layer, it's gonna take a little bit for them to set. Comfort-wise and longevity, I found these to be really comfortable on the lips. You know, once they kind of set down, they do have that sort of matte lipstick sort of a feel on the lips, but nothing like a liquid lipstick, not to that extent. They really do feel a lot like the Melteds. Like, I know that people kind of have like different opinions about the Melteds. I personally really, really love them. So I think if you love these, I think you'll really enjoy these too. They just kind of set down to feel like a matte lipstick. And as far as longevity, they really do stick around on the lips a good amount of time. Not like all day, but the stain, especially for um, I Wore Wonderful Magenta, this stain really did stick around pretty much the whole day. So you do have that stain and it kind of wears away throughout the day, which I prefer over the there versus not there of a liquid lipstick. You know what I mean? I hate that. I like that these kind of wear away like a regular lipstick, but you're left behind with a little bit of that sort of a stain, especially if you do the gradient sort of a look, it's just gonna be like an effortless sort of a lip look. So I really do enjoy the comfort of these. I think they're really nice on the lips and I do think they're really long wearing. My overall opinion on these is that I really, really like them. I think they are so cute. I love the packaging. I love the low price point. I really like the formula on them. Really my only negatives to say is I wish there were more color options. I would love more neutrals. So that's something I would change about them and this weird applicator situation. I don't like that, but everything else about them, I really, really love. I think they're a great little lip product. All right, guys, so that wraps up my review and lip swatch video on the Sephora Wonderful Cushion Matte Lip Creams. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you have tried these. What do you think about them? What is your favorite shade? If you have any questions for me, just ask those down below. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.